Today I'm going to share a really quick, really quick and dirty tutorial on how to figure out why your traffic to your blog is changing, um, either growing or shrinking, by using Google Analytics. A lot of people ask me, oh my gosh, my traffic is down this month and I just can't figure out why, or my traffic is up and could it be this? I had a new template or I, you know, started a new pop-up or this, you know, I added this to my sidebar. Is it possible that that is impacting my traffic? And so today I'm going to quick show you how to quickly and easily figure out where the changes in your traffic are coming from. So when you log into Google Analytics, you should, and you hit, you know, the home screen or whatever, this is probably where they plop you. And most people understand this page pretty well. These are the numbers you're going to give to, you know, sponsors or when people talk about your uniques, this is what we're talking about. So, um, what you want to know though, will be the difference in like, not just this month's page views, but why this month's page views are different than last month's. And so that is easy to figure out. And this, for this example, I'm just going to use the, these 30 days compared to the previous 30 days. Um, just because that's easy, but you can do any time frame. If your if your traffic is up this week and you want to compare it to this week, that's awesome. If your traffic is up this month and you want to compare it to this month a year ago, you can do that too. You can do compare anything to anything. So there are there are two things, I, two ways I would analyze it. I would either analyze like your past thirty days to your previous thirty days, as long as the decline is noticeable enough over thirty days, or I would analyze this like this July to last July. And the reason I would do that is because sometimes traffic's just low in July. Like that just might be what it is. And so comparing a year ago to a year ago is, is not a bad way of doing it. Because then you can see like, oh yeah, last July I dropped my, you know, my Pinterest was down too and this July it's down. Or last July I was hot on Facebook and this July I'm not. So that will explain something about my decline. Um, in this case, my blog isn't a year old yet. So I'm going to do 30 days to 30 days. So this, in this case, I'm going to compare. So you go up here to the date and you click the little arrow and I'm going to compare July 1st to July 30th. So July 1st to July 30th. And then you click this little box and you say compare to, and you can select whatever you want. They let you select previous year or whatever, but in this case, I'm going to select June 1st to July 30th. Hey, no, June 1st to June 30th. June 1st, June 30th, and I hit apply. And you'll see that they have added two graphs to the, or two lines to the graph. The orange one is June and the blue one is July. Now these numbers are your change. So in this case, I've, my, in one month, I've grown 40% in sessions and 55% in page views over the course of one month which is pretty good. <laughs> so, um, but I'm going to, let's say I'm wondering like, why is, where did all that growth come from? What, what, you know, why are people here? So what you can do is scroll down to all traffic channels, and that will give you a list of where your traffic's coming from. Social being social media, you know, social media. Direct would include things like Twitter, people who have typed your name in to the you know, type your URL in directly. Um, some third-party apps, like for a while, Pinterest traffic was in direct. Direct is the hardest one to figure out exactly where it's from, but direct. Referral will be other URLs who refer to you and from you. And organic search, which is my favorite, which would be search engine traffic. Okay, so in this case, my social traffic is up 50%. My search traffic is almost doubled while my referral traffic is down 16%. The interesting thing about that is my blog is really new and what had happened was I was referring people from my old, I had moved some posts over from my old blog to my new blog. And so my referral traffic will be all those, will be all those people coming through my old blogs. And in fact, if you click on referral traffic, I'm pretty sure that's what's going to show. Yeah. So this is traffic coming from my old blog. So there's a reason that that's down because as I generate more content on my new blog, I'm going to have less total traffic as a referral. But let's say your traffic is down and you don't know why it's down. If you click referral and you see some like 
Let's say you are featured in somebody's linky party and this month you're not. It's possible that that's going to show a big decline because that linky party is done now and they're probably getting less traffic too. And so stuff like, you know, looking at your referrals is a really good place to look to see. We can go back and we can look at the other channels. Let's say you have lost your Pinterest traffic or you think that's where your traffic is down. Again, Facebook uh, is up. Pinterest is up. In this case, I didn't have any shares on Google Plus a month ago and I have some this month, so it's going to give you this infinite sign. It's just, um, okay. It's just it's the way this is just a flaw in the analytics, but it's the exact same thing. You'll see the changes. Now there's a few other places. Let's say it does has nothing to do with, let's say the changes to the traffic to your blog have nothing to do with where your traffic is coming from. Let's say it was a template change. Let's pretend you added some awesome plugin or you thought it was awesome and it was going to make your mobile site just like super user friendly and everyone was going to come to mobile. If you want to see if that's, really effective and if it's working the way you think it is, then you're going to want to look at audience. And then this is all the different things you can look at where they're coming from, but you want to look at mobile overview. And in this case, it's going to tell you where your changes in traffic have happened. So in my case, my mobile's doubled or is up 50%, not doubled. And my desktop is up a little bit and my tablet's this traffic's about the same. So I, I didn't make any changes in my blog. I wouldn't expect these numbers to be different. But if you are seeing changes, this will help you break down where those changes are coming from. If you had, let's say you had added some to ad network and they were like killing your mobile views. If you notice that your desktop is staying the same and your mobile is down, that's going to be a problem. Or if you had a new template put in and people can't get it to work, you're going to see the changes in your desktop versus mobile. The other thing that would be, might help you is, let's say you figured out Facebook is where your traffic's coming from. What, now you want to figure out what, you know, what exactly is going on, like where exactly in Facebook is, is that happening. And you can figure out a lot based on um, the, what landing pages are popular. So let's say you had a big feature at a linky party. You're going to see a big boost in traffic on that post that's featured in your in your landing page because that's the first page they come to your site from. So in this case, um, I have some, I have some posts that are like double what they were last month. And I know that they're double from what, because I feature them in my newsletter. So that makes sense to me. And then some of these, like I didn't, this post was written in July. It wasn't, didn't even exist in June. So of course the traffic to that's going to be up. And now this is an older post that's starting to go stagnant and therefore the traffic has probably dropped. In that case, if I'm really worried about it, maybe I'd push this post out to Pinterest or something if I was worried, which I'm not, but if you were. And the same is gonna be true if you hit all pages. So these, that was the pages people land on. All pages is what are your most popular pages overall? And it's, it's not as useful for figuring out where changes are um, because this could be like the second or third page that somebody visited, but I mean, it still tells you where your traffic is going, where it's coming from. So those are the things you might want to look at. Um, I think that's about it for, you know, for quickly and easily looking at, there are, I mean, there are a lot of other things you could look at that are all listed here. You could look at where they're coming from, you know, <laughs> and really let's, you would have to have some sort of crazy far-fetched reason to do this. Let's say you were featured in a magazine in Australia or something. Maybe you would go into where the people were located and figure out if, you know, Australian English is suddenly really popular. I mean, I, I can't think of a real reason you would use this, but let's just, you know, if you really can't figure it out, you could go through and look for any sorts of strange changes to um, your, your page views over time. But basically, I think the key here is changing this date and looking at your analytics as a change versus looking at your analytics over the past 30 days or over the past however long you normally look at your total combined page views. So I hope that helps. And um, if you have any questions, either drop them in the comments here or um, feel free to join our support forum and we'll answer them in there. Thanks. Bye.